Okay, hey guys, what's going on? This is your man Jordan, host of Alter Element Games, and today I'm here to talk about the Nintendo NX delay and the new Zelda Wii U and NX delay all at the same time. And Nintendo not being at the E3 conference all together. I mean, it was about time in the first place, because, you know, the Nintendo Directs have been getting more and more progressive, and you know what? You don't really need to go to the main conference anymore. You don't need E3, Nintendo. That's what they already knew. So let's move on to the NX being delayed in the first place well um i'm hearing that the release date is going to be in march 2017 which i think is a good time aside from a christmas re uh release because christmas releases i don't know that's a lot of competition in between you know the ps4 and the xbox one and then like who knows when the new ps4 neo was coming out so the uh, the nx console coming out on march is a pretty safe bet for nintendo they have that month entirely to themselves so that's gonna that's gonna be good for them you know and the more time that they have prior to release the more time they can fix things up and you know do things at their own pace um i don't mind this delay at all like i said before it's really good uh i really hate christmas releases because it's a clusterfuck of like what games you know pre-order bundles all that bullshit and like waiting in line and oh we don't have enough copies for this and you know christmas days are really crazy during that time of year so nah man i'm really glad Nintendo's doing this overall because this this is a safe move and this is a good move for me because I don't have to be in that rush at the end of the year that's not good um, I can't wait to hear more features about the system I don't know if they're gonna do a Tokyo game show or a gamescon conference or their own like Nintendo direct conference for their new system so that's gonna be pretty interesting to hear way more details about this NX because I want to hear Nintendo's gimmick and like my Modern features has, has Nintendo learned overall how to appeal to the customers today because the Wii U on its own it's pretty great but it has pretty shitty advertising and there's not much games for it like there's barely a game for the Wii U you know in like month-to-month -month basis so they need to fix that and the launch titles need to be really spectacular I mean Zelda Wii U is gonna be on there or Zelda whatever the hell the new Zelda is gonna be called but hopefully that turns out to be a great launch title with a couple more other titles they have into the mix so i can't wait to hear the specs the launch titles the controller assets the accessories the theme and even nintendo's online because nintendo's online has been some shit for some time so um you know i, I hopefully their eShop or their my nintendo accounts are a lot better than what they had previously and the dedicated servers are a lot better than the wii u or the original wii's so the wii u was a step up and those uh, online servers but let's let's have some better content and better security unlike sony you know what i'm saying because sony has some real problems with online content um let's look on the list here also zelda that delay will be until march 2017 as well hopefully we'll see some new content within gameplay footage and hopefully they will not rush this title because i'm seeing that this is going to be like a huge open world kind of game and that's going to be awesome hopefully the combat is good because the last time we saw anything from Zelda we saw Link jumping off the back of his horse shooting at enemies and that's pretty much it there's no like follow through or anything like that so hopefully they have like good combos or something new with the the gear the horse uh, horseback gameplay and the combo system to go along with each other so it actually feels like a better adventure world with like updated combat that's what we want because um, the last time we saw it even though they had the examples of some small Small bits of combat the game didn't look finished at all and with this coming out at March 2017 this will be a, a great way to send off the Wii U uh, just let's have some games between March 2017 and now you know like let's let's have some decent amount of content for us Wii U owners to say like okay we're going out in the bang here's some content for you guys that are really coming up that's really looking good and you know we can send this off and you can be proud to be a Wii U owner. But most likely that's not going to be it. Also, I'm hearing there's some rumors of Link being able to switch genders, which I don't really give a fuck about because, you know, uh, just don't be progressive 
for the sake of being progressive. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I don't care about a female link or whatever, or a male link. I, I, I just don't care anymore. You know, sometimes I wish that, you know, it could be its own thing, you know, because like you have a Mega Man and then you have a Samus Aran, you know, you don't, you don't have to force a character to be a female just for the sake of being a female, you know, create your own good characters. But if you can't, um, excuse me, if you can switch genders, then, you know, that's fine. It's, it's no problem at all. And, um, the things I want to see in a new Zelda game, uh, the dungeon designs and maps, um, let's see, uh, a sprint feature that, you know, that doesn't suck like in Skyward Sword, uh, no stamina bar for climbing, cause, like, who the fuck does that, you know, Skyward Sword, um, better combat in, uh, Zelda, uh, more worlds and villages, and just more, more insight of the overall world in Zelda Wii U, I'm, I'm gonna call it Zelda Wii U until we get a name for the NX title, because NX is kind of weird, so that's, that's the things I want to see in new, um, Zelda content, and that's pretty much it dudes you know um how do you guys feel about this everybody's kind of disappointed they're not going to be at e3 but somehow i knew this was coming you know and you know they've been doing nintendo directs for the past what two years now so it's kind of getting there so it's pretty relevant that they're going to do their own thing and they don't need e3 to be you know relevant anymore they don't have to pay for that you know they nintendo's legendary enough to do what the fuck they want to do <laughs> we're still going to buy their games for their exclusive titles so that's gonna be their own thing so let them live and we'll see what they we'll see the decisions that they make and we'll judge it from there because hopefully some new details about their system will come at the right time because I've been itching for some new insight on this new console hopefully it will be way better specs than the PS4 even way better specs than the Xbox one because the Xbox one is pretty shitty and let's see how you can customize it let's see the controllers let's see the gimmick let's see everything Let's see a new Mario game that's not basic, you know? Let's see some new IPs for this new Nintendo universe, you know? Splatoon was awesome, but we want to see more. So, alright guys, that's it for me on my thought on Nintendo not being at E3. And I'll see you dudes next time here at Alter Element. Alter Element Games, where gameplay is everything.